Hey, what is up guys? My name is Demons and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to do the Rainbow CC. So, as you have seen, I've already made something like, uh, let's say, a um, text slash background. There are just two images, not an animation. And don't mind this one, it's just a scale node, so these emotes can be scaled uh, to the wall new process because it's much uh, smaller so uh, how to do this one so this is an alpha over node so the blaze can go over this background and let's do the rainbow cc so now what we're going to do is that we need to append the text so we're going to info input an emote right here and then let's go to open one i have this texture to my desktop, the gradient, the color gradient, this one, there will be a link down in the description to download it. So, we what we have to do now is to take a color mix node and put it over to the connection from the background slash text to the compositing, and then. Uh, use the emote node to connect it to the mix node and also we are going to add a scale node so make sure it says render size right like this one because uh, we want this texture to be to to be uh, the whole like 1920 pixels uh, of uh, of way we uh, we want this to be 1920 long and 1080 high so yeah that's why we add the scale node so now what we have to do is to resize this texture but firstly yeah let's change this one to color so now as you can see Sweetest, and you can see that there is a rainbow CC over the text and the wall background. You just have to make sure that this one uh, it's over the text and the background. You can also try other layers like overlay if you want. It's not going to be so good, but as you can see, it plays with the medians a little bit, and the default, which is screen but you will have to lower the opacity and in my opinion the results are not so good using the screen one right like this one let's say alright so I'm going to use color like this and this is basically how you do the rainbow CC as you can see this one's a little bit noisy let me try to fix this one I will use a filter and soften so fun. I don't really know how to announce this one. Uh, basically, uh, this has to go here. Basically, what soften? Wait, sorry, I messed up. Basically, what filter soften does is that uh, it makes a more soft of an image. So, if I go to filter and have selected soften and then mix uh, fuse this one with a color node and the alpha over node now you can see that we have a lower noise what it actually does it actually blurs a little bit our emotes and it's extremely useful in blender because it uh, removes most of the noise so as you can see now if I switch this one to let's say factor zero you can see that it's a more realistic look but still more noisy and if I increase it to 1000 then uh, it goes more soft so yeah now that's for the rain the rainbow CC uh, I'm going to leave you this texture down in the description so you can guys download it and it works with all kind of compositing just do this one over it and if you want you can let's say animate this one so let's say you don't want it right let's say 
you don't want to begin with it we're going to set the factor to zero and put a scale over here and then to the uh, frame 100 you want this to be colorful so we'll change this one to 100 and hit I again to scale it so now if we go to the 50 uh, frame 50 you can see that it slowly changes to become like uh, this one but if you don't really want uh, to change slowly and want it to change a tons then go to frame 99 behind the 100 frame and set it to zero and hit I to set the keyframe so now you can see that when we are to frame 99 Oh, I messed up again. I'm sorry. Let me change this to uh, to zero. And set a keyframe. So, when we're to frame 99, you can see that there is nothing. But when it changes to 100, it's being colorful. So, um, you can also add different color gradient textures if you make them on your own or find them down in the Google or other videos on YouTube. You can of course make a good animation. And yeah, so that was the tutorial for today. I wish you guys liked it and it was helpful. You can do this AC a lot of times and change it of course and yeah, that's how to do it. Uh, if you like this tutorial, please leave a like. This really helps me out. And if you, if you have any issues with this, feel free to comment down in the description. Now subscribe if you want to see more tutorials, and see you at the next time. Bye.